Hello, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint a CCS Battle Cruiser from Halo Fleet Battles. Now, I'm going to be using a mixture of both the airbrush and regular brush in this video. And here you can see a couple of corvettes that I've painted up um, using this method. And um, we're going to go into a little bit more detail on this larger ship as well. So he, he's been undercoated and with light grey primer. And we're going to start by base coating him with some royal purple. So I'm using the airbrush just for these base coats. Um, these are exactly the same colours that I used in the previous video um, where I painted a Corvette with a brush. So if you're painting by brush you can use the methods in that video to also paint this ship. You can see uh, my PSI is just a bit too high here so that's why the purple's really curled on quite quickly here. Um, normally I would put it on a bit slower with a lower PSI. But we still get quite an even coverage, as you can see here, once it's dry. So we're going to take some hex lichen, and this is going to be the start of our gradient. Now it's up to you where you put the lighter areas of the ship, I'm just following the box art, so I'm going to go around the sides here. I'm also going to spray this on the back of the ship, as well as the front, and it's a little bit in the centre as well. So work your way around the ship. You see it's a very subtle highlight and you've seen that in the previous video also. And once it's dry, it's very hard to see on camera. Um, but the gradient is there. But we are going to add a lighter colour. And I'm going to use Gene Steeler Purple from the Citadel Air Range. And I'm just being more precise with this highlight. So it's building the colour up to the lighter Gene Steeler Purple. So I'm building that up very gradually here to get the gradient that I want. So you can see it's quite subtle to begin with, but we'll soon be building that colour up as we work our way around the ship. It's worth bearing in mind as well that this will dry a bit darker than when it first goes on. So it may look a, li look a little bit light when I first put it on in some places, but you'll see once it's dry, that'll give us a really nice gradient. See, I just hold it a bit closer to the camera there, just so you can see it a little bit better. So just work your way around the ship, building this gradient up to a standard that you're happy with. And here we have the dried result. So now I'm going to move on to the lights, and we're going to take some McCrag blue. So again, um, check your box up um, for where these areas are, or you can no reason why you cannot put these lights um, wherever you wish on the ship. But I'm just going to follow the box up, box up for this. So we'll be spraying it on the back of the ship, as well as the sides and in the centre. Now, if you watched the first video where I painted a CCS, um, these are exactly the same areas what we did on that ship there. Of course, we're not using the ghost tints this time, we are just using the blues. So let's build it up and be very careful. I'm um, being lighter on the trigger here. To build it up quite nicely and more precise. Of course, as we add the, add the highlights, we'll have to be even more precise um, with the airbrush. So as you can see already, we're starting to get a nice blue glow effect. So we're now going to add a highlight to this blue glow. So we're going to take some Lothan blue from Citadel Air Range. And we're going to spray this um, towards the centre. So yeah, it's got a little bit of overspray there, but I'm sure you'll be more careful than me. So we're just spraying it towards the centre of these blue areas. This will give us a nice aerosol glow effect. So just take your time with this, be very light on the trigger, and you can build it up. And it's much easier to build up the colour than it is to overdo it and take some away. So we are going to add a further highlight to this colour and we're going to take some white scar also from a little air range and this is going to be more precise and focused right towards the centre of these lights give us a really nice bright white glow as you can see I'm just gradually working my way around 
rather than just spraying it all in one go. As you can see, we have a nice white blue glow effect. So that is the end of the um, airbrush stages. We're now going to go on to a regular brush. I'm going to take some Cabalite Green. This is to paint all the little green lights that appear on the ship. So again, it's a case of checking your box out to see where these are. Or you can, of course, just paint these wherever you wish. These lights aren't actually marked on the ship per se, so it's just a case of just painting them in the spots where you want them to be. So I've thinned the green a little bit here just to make it apply a bit easier. And once these green areas are done, we are then going to give them a highlight. As you can see, they're quite subtle at the moment and we want them to be brighter. So we're going to take some moot green from this little layer range. So I'm literally just placing a small dot of this colour just right in the centre of all these green areas. This gives us a nice focused light source. Now you could of course um, do this with the airbrush if you've got one with a fine enough needle so you can get a lot of control over it and I just decided to do this with the brush just to be a bit more precise. So now it's dry and these green areas are still a little bit too bright for me so I'm going to take some Way Watcher Green and you don't have to do this if you're happy with the result. I just decided to do this just to sort of marry the green colours together a bit and give us a bit better gradient. So you see I'm applying it quite heavily and um, you don't have to. I just went on a bit too heavy with the first bit. So you literally just need a small dollop of this just to paint over these areas. So you can apply additional layers if you wish, but please make sure the glaze dries before you do the next step. So with these lights done, I'm now going to take some white scar, and this is for the central lines in the middle. I've thinned it out with a little bit of water as that will make it easier to apply on all these little areas. When it comes to the really fine areas towards the, going towards the front of the ship you can run your brush lightly over these in sort of an overbrush fashion and that will pick them up really nicely. So that white areas are done. And they just look a little too bright for me, so I'm going to take some Druji Violet and this will bring them down just a little bit and give them a little tint of purple, which will make them fit in with the rest of the ship really nicely. So with that done, the next step is to um, edge highlight some of these armor panels. So for that I'm going to take some Decala Lilac from this little edge range. So I've thinned the paint down with a little bit of water, even though these edge paints are already quite thin, um, it's worth just thinning them down just a little bit to get a better flow. Now it's entirely up to you which panel lines you edge highlight in this way, I'm not going to do all of them, I'm just going to do a few around the side, and then a few on the back, and just a few on the front as well. This will really make the armor panels stand out on the ship a bit more than they already do. So just be very careful and take your time and work around the ship. And with that, it is complete. So I've now done three different videos on how to paint this um, default card scheme from a box art. Now I really do like the Covenant card scheme and this video has perhaps been my favourite of the three. I'm really happy with the result of this final ship. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. In the next videos, I will be painting one in the colour scheme of the Sons of St. Helios, which I'm really looking forward to doing. So as always, um, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video.